So when I first found out I was pregnant, there really wasn't a word to describe everything that I felt. I really just felt scared, alone. Um, I was a leader in my church at the time. Nobody thought that it would be me to get pregnant out of a marriage and be in this situation. Um, I would always tell my mom, well, at least I'm not pregnant, and now I was, so I couldn't really use that anymore. Um, I didn't know what to do, and I just felt like I didn't have anybody at that time. So since I felt like I couldn't go to anyone um, around me, um, I had taken like 18 pregnancy tests. I didn't believe any of them, even though they all came back positive. So I decided to Google the word pregnancy and choices popped up. I had no clue what choices was, but I decided to give it a try anyway. I looked up their hours. I went in the next morning. And as soon as I walked in, I just felt like a sense of peace. Um, and the first people that I met there were so sweet at the front desk, um, all the way to whenever they took me back to um, do a pregnancy test and um, an ultrasound. And I got to talk with somebody um, just about all the things that I was feeling, all the options. They asked me a lot of questions about myself and I felt like they really wanted to get to know me. So in a matter of an hour, I had new friends and new family through the People at Choices and um, had the safe place to be. So even with a support system in place, whenever panic sets in, you don't wanna talk with somebody who may have emotionally invested opinions about your situation. Uh, so I found a safe place in Choices. Um, they provided a peaceful environment and had no judgment about my situation, and they provided resources, knowledge, um, love, and just support throughout the whole thing whenever I was at a point in my life where I didn't even know my name because I was so in shock. So after my visit with Choices, even though it was a great first visit and I felt supported, I felt a little more peaceful about everything. Um, the reality of having to make a life-changing decision really set in and I did wrestle back and forth with what I was going to do and just all the different decisions that you have to make during this time and you only have a short amount of time to make them. So I did set up an appointment at an abortion clinic in Atlanta and um, went through with going to Atlanta. When we got to the abortion clinic, it was an unmarked building and I had to go to the eighth floor. There was a frosted glass door and I really didn't even know that I was at the right place. And I had to state my name, show my ID, and they unfrosted the door, let me in. It was not the same feeling that I felt at Choices. It wasn't peaceful, it wasn't happy. Um, I didn't feel supported. I just felt like I'm at this dark, dull business and about to give them money for a decision that I don't even know if I wanna make. We went in and while I was talking, with the nurse, I ended up breaking down crying, and she told me, hey, don't worry about it, it's normal to cry. Everybody cries. I was like, okay, well that's super sad that everybody cries, and just knowing that every woman that had been in my position in that office before had felt the heartbreak that I felt um, was crushing um, to me. So I was just so emotionally unstable at the time, um, just, being in the reality of actually being in the office and not just talking about that being an option, but I was going to go through with it. So I decided since I was just so emotionally unstable at the time that I was going to go back to the hotel and make a decision that night and regroup. Um, I was still wrestling back and forth with I'm not a fit mom, I don't know how to take care of a baby, I don't have the resources, I don't have any money. I knew that I didn't have a lot of time to make a decision, so I tried to uh, come up with every excuse for why I should go through with this abortion, but every excuse that I would come up with um, was almost instantly like invalid because I would say things like, I didn't have any food to feed a baby. Choices had food and formula and all the feeding supplies. Um, I didn't have um, money to support a baby with things that a baby would need and they had everything from car seats and cribs to blankets and toys and books. Um, I didn't have a support system at the time and I knew that Choices would be there. Um, I didn't have um, 
any experience being a mom before and felt like I was unqualified to take care of a baby, um, but Choices had educational videos that I could watch. His name, Brenton, means hilltop. In the verse, Matthew 5:14 says, you're the light of the world and a city on a hill can't be hidden. Um, we decided that we were not gonna hide Brenton or his story from anyone and we were gonna let him and the testimony of his life um, shine for all to see. Brenton will be two in December. He loves Mickey Mouse, all animals playing in the water, and it's just your typical two-year-old. There's nobody in Brenton's life that regrets that we kept him, and he has just truly brought us so much joy um, and given us a uh, purpose in our lives.